Hey guys, today um, I'll be doing a video on how to flash CM10 Alpha 3 on the Samsung Galaxy SL i9003. Um, just a little thing to say, in probably the next few videos, I will do some videos on my S3. Yeah, uh, so okay, let's get on with the video. Firstly, um, what you gotta have before installing this CM10 Alpha 3 is have CWM recovery. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, you have to have CWM recovery and just back up your ROM. Back it up, Android back it up, uh, titanium back up, whatever back up you want. Then, um, make sure you have these files, the CM10 files that we'll need. Um, I will show you in a second. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will check them out for you. These two are the files that you need. This Alpha Tree and the 4.2 Jelly Bean file. Yeah, these are the only two things you need. I will link them in the description below. So, yeah. After you have those two files, you're pretty much ready to go. What you're gonna do next is power down your phone. I'm going to recovery mode. I'll take off my phone cover for the sake of simplicity. Um, you go into recovery mode by hitting volume up, home key, then this two first, then power key. A lot of people mistook it for all three at once. Sometimes. Because if you click all three at once, sometimes you click this first, then buy those two, then it will not go into recovery, and probably just boot back up, which is why I recommend this way. Okay, next, what you want to do is simply wipe cache and Delphi cache. Let me zoom in for a see clearly. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, yeah, you want to go on wipe cache. Oops, it's not focusing well. White cache. Uh, there, white. Let me just show you in case you didn't see that. And. Yep. Then next, you want to wipe Dalvik cache. To wipe Dalvik cache, go to advanced. Wipe Dalvik cache. Hit it. Notice that you'll get this unknown value for path. It's very common, as long as you have an external SD card, you will get that error. So you want to go and wipe the device, wipe Delphi cache. After you wipe Delphi cache, you want to go ahead and go for wipe data factory reset. And then, Okay, wait for it. Okay, now that's done. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to mounts and storage and format DB data. Let me focus it. It has very bad focus today, I don't know why. Go ahead and format DB data. There. See? Format. Okay. Now, this part is basically what you have been waiting for install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card wherever you put the alpha tree file and just select it and flash it I will not uh, move so that you guys actually see this whole process instead of me cutting and stuff it's quite a fast process so I will leave it like that. And uh, after this step, a very important um, warning I guess I could say is do not reboot your phone. Do not reboot your phone. I repeat, do not reboot your phone. <laughs> that was three or four times. So it's clear enough not to reboot your phone. It's very important not to reboot your phone. It's about five or six times already. And the flash is right about done soon as you can see from the progress bar. It's 
subscribe out then. Um and for this we're gonna install Japs, the Japs, the newest one. I'm gonna read out the file name alert in case you have the older one on the phone too and the same phone like me. You won't mess up. Well, I don't want you to mess up. Okay. It's about gonna flash finish soon. Okay. Okay, whoa, focus. Focus. Yeah. Let me focus. Okay, good. Now it's focused. You wanna go ahead and install GApps. Now. Uh, you wanna install the one that says 2012 10 11. Oops. Did I click? I didn't click anything. Anyways, go ahead and stop. I think I clicked back. I'm not sure though. Uh, I'm quite sure I didn't click back. But anyways, you want to go ahead and check name, file, and flash it. And this should once again take only a while. Uh, yeah. Just flash your GMs. And unmounting system. It's about done, as you can see. Uh, I think it's done right about now. Okay, now what you're gonna do next is come back down here. Whoops. And go back. You wanna go to advanced and fix problems. And it should only take a second. And after that is done, go ahead and reboot your phone. It should not boot loop or whatsoever. Um, everything should be good. Whoops. Um, the phone will take quite a while to boot if I'm not wrong. It's the first boot anyway, so I will come back right after it boots finished. Okay, now the device has booted up. You want to go ahead and choose your language, whatever it is. I'll go ahead and choose my language, English United Kingdom. And it will take just a second. Actually, this will take quite long. Let me warn you first quite long and not a second. It's gonna take much more longer than a second. And a note too is that if you factory reset your ROM anytime after your installation, you will have to uh, flash the ROM and GApps again, or it will cause a lot of problems. A lot, a lot, yeah, a lot. Um, wow. Okay, this is. Um. Yeah, this Alpha Three is based on 4.1.2 latest. So now it's actually. Uh, searching for Wi-Fi networks. I'm very sure it will won't work. Wi-Fi. You have to add your own Wi-Fi or something like that. Can't exactly remember, but I'm quite sure. So let's go ahead and skip that first. No, since we don't have Wi-Fi, not now. Oh, what's this? Okay. Anyways. Uh, so, uh, whatever. Um, I'll go ahead and skip it first. And next, finish. Make yourself at home. Yeah, this is based on 4.1.2. Let me show you. I just flashed it. Okay, let me show you how to fix the Wi Fi first before you guys go crazy. You want to add a fake network? That's all you need to do. And yes, your network will now show up. 
And now you want to connect it. Uh, pardon me, I have to key my password. Okay. Now, if I cannot, if I can't remember, sorry. Um, you have to, yeah. If this is checked, you have to go ahead and uncheck it. Then it will be pretty much good to go. And let me show you about phone. Um, yeah, there, 4.1.2. Based on 4.1.2, Jelly Bean. Uh, yeah. It's very smooth, I can see. Um, it feels much smoother. Um, this is, yeah, on Dairu's kernel. Dairu is the maker of this ROM. All credits of the ROM go to him. I have no credits of this ROM or whatsoever. I'm just doing a tutorial to guide you guys. So as you can see, oops, no, I was about to show you my IMEI number. That was close, one man. Okay, let me go ahead and show you if everything's working. Um, most importantly, it doesn't look like it will crash. It doesn't look like it will crash. Check if everything's there. The newest feature of this is the fact that you can do one-handed things. So um, I'll go ahead and get something uh, like a screenshot. Oh, sorry, I haven't activated screenshots. But anyways, we're going to take a screenshot with um, power. Um, I think it's this. Yeah. Now that took a screenshot. Uh, and one hand it should work well it's supposed to oh it's still two handed well uh, the review of 4.1.2 says that oh yeah 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 now see that that's one handed oops yeah that's one handed that's a very cool option option um everything looks buttery smooth to me no hangs or whatsoever yet Performance. A little tip to you is go ahead, surface improvement, disable that, memory management, disable that, allow purging of assets. Then go ahead to, oh, no, those can't be changed because you don't have a custom kernel as of now. Um, everything looks good. Looks good. Okay, so it's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Uh, this is Andy Raff TV, and I'm signing out.